What is going on guys? Back here with uh, an update to my video yesterday uh, talking about the uh, Iowa marching band incident and uh, last night the Carson King Des Moines Register feud. Um, I mentioned it's not really a feud, it's just the Des Moines Register being stupid. Um, so the article came out last night about Carson. Just kind of who he is, you know, a sort of refresher for people that don't know. And uh, the article was posted <clears throat> by the same guy that brought up the previous tweets of Carson's life. You know, the ones that he made when he was, again, 16. <clears throat> um, Des Moines Register came out with a statement uh, last night talking about, you know, toughest stuff in journalism uh, is about what to publish or not. Basically, they went through the list of everything about what they should put in this article, what they shouldn't. And, you know, they, they decided to roll with it, and it's costing them a lot. And, you know, I've, I've seen that Des Moines has had to uh, tighten up security at the, at the Des Moines Register. That's not, um, you know, that's not, that's not cool that, that, that people would threaten the Des Moines Register. If you want to cancel your subscription, if you want to think that the Des Moines Register is a really crappy newspaper, um, I'm all for it. But if you're gonna if you're gonna talk about th like verbal, you know, posting on social media threats against a threats against a newspaper, that's that's you know you don't do that. Don't 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 do that. That that shouldn't be. That shouldn't be anything that anybody is doing. That doesn't that doesn't help Carson's look. That doesn't help the people of Iowa's look. Um, if anything, it helps the registers look. So don't don't be don't be threatening uh, the Des Moines Register with violence. Um, but anyway, back to the the man that, that wrote the article. Uh, turns out he's got some uh, pretty controversial uh, tweets of his own. If you scroll through Twitter. Uh, actually, first of all, I'll, I'll uh, read the Des Moines Register tweet. <clears throat> uh, about 14 hours ago, so it's 2 o'clock now, uh, whatever, midnight. About midnight, they uh, they made a, uh, they, po they posted a tweet in response to their own uh, statement, and they said, uh, the Register is aware of reports of inappropriate social media posts by one of our staffers, and an investigation has begun. First of all, why was this not part of his hiring process? If this is such a concern for your business, for your paper, this should have this should have happened when he was hired. You should have gone through his social media posts when when, when he was hired. Uh, second of all, boy, this guy's got this guy's got quite uh, quite a Twitter history. So again, this is about 2011. So this is about the same time frame. I don't know how old this guy is, but about the same about the same time frame. Uh, who isn't verbally abusive to their girlfriends? Gotta keep in line, yo. Am I right, ladies? Like, who... Who tweets that? Who tweets that? Uh, he also... He also said, They'd rather give me a... N please award. I'd rather have the I got a cheese award. Tell it like it is, Kanye. I don't know... I don't know what that's about. That was... I don't know, that was... That was in 2010, so this is a little bit older. Uh, all dead white boys say God is good. Like, that's... Okay, cool. And then he's got a whole bunch... A uh, whole bunch of tweets that people are going through. Uh, F all cops... Uh, only if you're a fart face yourself, like how only black people can use the N-word or gay people can use the F-word. Uh, dude, crazens are gay as hell. I'm sorry, that's just the reality of the situation. I don't really think that one's all that bad. Um, but yeah, he's got he's got some some definitely he's definitely got some uh, some controversial stuff of his own. Uh, super hypocritical. Um, so yeah, yeah. Like I, uh, like I was saying, you know, it's first of all, 
ESPN, uh, or I guess last of all, ESPN uh, had an article this morning uh, talking about it, uh, about how uh, Carson apologized for racist tweets as a teenager. <coughs> um, and their their headline had nothing to do with his name, nothing to do with anything... Beer money assigned man. Sorry for tweets. Really, ESPN? That's that's the headline. I don't know. That's. Uh, he also Aaron Calvin, the guy, retweeted a uh, retweeted a tweet. Too many of these. N. Uh, bitch, made nowadays. Don't pardon my French. So. Uh, you know, it's, I don't think, first of all, let me start by saying, I do not think Aaron Calvin should be fired for these tweets. I, I think it's stupid that you can get fired over tweets, especially from the ones that you made well beyond whenever you got hired. Now, depending on when this guy got hired, depending on when or how old he was, that might change it up a little bit. I don't think you should be fired for tweets. I don't think you should be. Uh, I don't think that should be something unless it's like an act. Unless it's like a threat, right? Like if I tweeted out a threat at somebody, or if I tweeted out a threat to somebody, that would be a lot different. But you know, it's just so hypocritical, and you know, this guy, this this guy, has gotten the, has lost the register a lot of money. He's gotten you know threats, which again. Stop it. That's You're not any better than people that do this if you're sending threats to them. That's just... You're just, you're just being stupid at that point. Um, but yeah, it's... I don't think you should be fired over this. I don't think... Um, <clears throat> I don't think Carson should lose any credibility for his tweets. I don't think... I think it was really stupid that Bush decided to pull out of everything. They're still donating, obviously. Um, but, you know, it's it's just a just a shitty situation for, for everybody. Again, you know, it should have started with nothing. This should have never, this should have just never happened. Um, but the fact that it did, and then it comes out that Aaron is just, like, a hypocrite because he's been doing it um, same time frame. I, again, I don't know the age, so I couldn't couldn't check that but um <clears throat> it's it's just a bad situation and you know i hope this eventually just blows over we can all get on with our lives but you know it's it's just a bad situation for everybody involved the, the state right now iowa as a whole uh this has been a pretty pretty rough couple of days so you know be be positive to each other don't don't be uh don't be a shitty person basically um be careful what you post online, folks. Online is forever. So these videos, they're forever. And uh, what you post on Twitter is forever. Somebody's got a screenshot of it. Even if you delete it, somebody's got a screenshot of it. Somebody's got something. So I guess moral of the story here, um, be careful what you post online, but also, you know, don't don't just take tweets at face value. You know, there's there's probably a lot more going on than, than just what's being tweeted. So... Uh, that's all I got for this story. There probably <coughs> probably won't be another update on it. Um, I'm not going to post any links to any of this guy's Twitter or anything like that. Um, you know, but uh, stop sending threats to the Des Moines Register. Be better people, and I'll see you guys next time.